you know, it was definitely one of the happiest moments of my life was winning that tournament. And, you know, all the tournaments that I've won since, you know, winning three bracelets and, and all that stuff, it, I've never been anywhere near as excited uh, to win a poker tournament as I was that day winning EPT San Remo. In 2007, I ended up winning a seat into the San Remo main event, so that's why I was in Italy in, in 2008 in April and uh, played the tournament and uh, you know was, was lucky enough to, to win the tournament. Going into the final table, I was second in chips. Um, Dario Minieri was the chip leader, so I was kind of uh, you know hoping to kind of lay back a little bit. Um, Hope, hope for a few guys to get knocked out. You know, there was obviously a lot of money on the line. We got down to four-handed, and uh, I opened 9-5 off under the gun. Eric Koskis defended the big blind. Flop came down, uh, jack 6-5, uh, rainbow. He checked, I checked back with the bottom pair. Uh, turn was an eight, giving me a gut shot straight draw. Um, and he led for uh, over over the pot. He led like 220,000 into a pot of maybe like 170. Um, at that point, I, I didn't really believe him. Um, just thought that he didn't really have much of a hand. Maybe he had some sort of straight draw, which you know I had a pair. So I decided to call. And then the river was another eight, and he instantly moved all in for a little more than pot. And, you know, I thought it over for a while. You know. I didn't think he would bet so big uh, on the turn with just an eight. So, you know, he would need to have like maybe eight six or jack eight, you know, already have two pair or possibly, you know, have a straight already like nine seven or seven four. He was drinking water, he was not talking, he was standing up, you know, trying to act strong almost is, is kind of the feel that I had. So if I called and won, I was gonna be, you know, massive chip leader with three left and have a really good chance to win. And if I called and lost, I was still gonna have about average chips or a little little below and, and still be in it. And uh, folding just didn't feel right. I felt like, uh, like I had him beat a very high percentage of the time. Didn't really make too much sense for him to have anything. And uh, yeah, I just, just felt like I, I needed to, to pick off his bluff. If his instinct is that his two pairs are good, I call. just got to decide whether wow. to trust his what instinct, and that's what he does. Showdown. What He's a great call. made the call, and Koskis will show he had absolutely that nothing. That is an absolutely excellent call. He went with his instinct, he made yeah. the call, and he's eliminated Eric Koskis. He has. It's a brilliant call. It's a brilliant, brilliant call. I, I definitely think that 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 hand had a lot of influence on what happened afterwards, you know, like uh, if I if I were to call and lose the hand or potentially even have folded the hand, uh, there's a decent chance I don't win the tournament. Um, if I don't win the tournament, maybe I don't, I'm not as motivated to play as many live tournaments and to try to win more. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, there's a lot of little things like that in poker where you know, if one hand doesn't happen a certain way, your whole career changes. And uh, I think that that was a very pivotal point, um, you know, for me to make that call, win that hand, and then go on to win the tournament.